Hi everybody and welcome to Elisa Maria Designs. I am <laughs> starting my first, and I'm saying first because I know that there are going to be more, and Gustav Klimt is going to be the first master class, diamond painting class, that I am going to do. And I'm so excited because I just, I love his artwork. There is so much to explore. There's so much to discuss. There's so many questions that pop into your head. And I think when you're talking about Klimt, he did, he did um, ponder life's big questions. And one of them is where I'm starting Love. with between a man and a woman. And we are going to be, well, I am going to be, I hope that you go out and get this canvas too. Any rendition that you like, I am actually using uh, Diamond Painting Shop's rendition and I'm going to do a pan over here while I talk a little bit about this painting here. So let me tell you about this. Um, this is probably one of his most recognizable works of art and it's from um, his golden phase and Klimt's father was a gold engraver. This this portrait in particular has a lot of gold leafing. It's an oil. It's an oil painting. He did this between 1907 and 1908, and it was considered very scandalous because this was the uh, Victorian period, period. And even though the man and the woman are fully clothed, being that they were in such a tight embrace, and he is you know, holding her face in his hands and he's, he's very delicately, you know, kissing her cheek. Um, you know, if you want to ponder on some questions, uh, is this a first kiss? Is this uh, one of many kisses? To me, it seems like it's one of many kisses. Um, but it was considered pornographic. Hmm. Um, there are 44 square drills on this canvas from Diamond Painting Shop. There are six special drills. And the special drills are where the flowers are going to be. You're going to see these circles as I continue to pan and continue to tell, tell you a little bit more about this painting. Um, and there's two ABs that are down along this garden, this meadow that they're in. And there are, yeah, there's two ABs. I know one is a green, the other one is going to be a white. But Klimt was also, um, you know, when he started out very, very young, I, I believe that he was like a teenager, like maybe 14, so gifted. He went to school on a full scholarship. And then I'm trying to think, I have some notes here that I made. I'm trying to think, um, he did go into um, architectural design, architectural painting, where he painted uh, murals on uh, different museums. I should tell you that he was from Austria. <laughs> and he, and his earlier work was like very realistic work. Some of his, if you look at this part down here, um, the meadow, it, it, when you look at his landscapes, they're pretty much the same. They're kind of like this dot method of painting. And if I didn't know what the painting was, I'm gonna drop some pictures down below just so you know what I'm talking about. If if you um, didn't know that this was a that was a Klimt when he was doing landscapings, to me it looked a little bit like Van Gogh. I think when his brother died, uh, Klimt was around thirty, and they were very close and they worked alongside each other. And this is when his work became very stylized. Um, there was another movement that was happening and. Um, it was the Art Nuevo, that muka look of the swirls that is so still so prominent today. I mean, that's that's another recognizable work. You see it in architecture, you see it in paintings, of course, you see it in um, uh, jewelry, um, glass work, that swirly muka kind of um, design, that style. So, Klimt started he was the founder 
of uh, the Vienna Secession, and that made uh, was made up of artists and architects and designers. And again, it was just closely related to the Art Nuevo move, movement. Um, work went from being very realistic, ultra beautiful. Oh my gosh! You know when you see a painting and it looks like a photograph. Every detail, every line of the face is there. The shading, the flesh tones are beautiful. Beautiful, realistic work to the polar opposite. His work started to move into this more stylized, what we see here. And stylized in art means um, unrealistic. I don't think there's anything really unrealistic about this. I mean, he could be wearing a beautiful cloak and her in a beautiful dress and adorned, but he did a lot of... Um, he, he, he did a lot of women's portraits and it was really interesting when I was going over my notes there was a painting that was recently found just this year I believe in January another painting much like this just of a woman almost like Adele but um, where Adele is the woman in gold a lot of gold this woman has the cloak on like this and she's looking right at you and she has the flowers and this and the swirls that's another thing Clint used symbols, circles, the rectangles, triangles, which are here. If you look at her foot, where's her foot at? So these lines that are coming over her foot, they're they're in the in the original painting. I should just have I'm gonna have this painting floating somewhere in the corner so you can see. I thought that they were um, vines with hearts on them. They're vines with triangles, and they're gold. This photo is the original painting, which is why it is in black and white. This is 1907, 1908, but Klimt was still making adjustments to this canvas, even though it was hanging in the gallery, and he added more vines to her foot and also to his. You can see here in the color version that the vines are added to her feet and her calf, and also where his foot would be. This painting is five feet by 11 inches by five feet by 11 inches. And it was originally called also The Lovers. And I don't know if that was changed to The Kiss because of the scandal, because it was deemed pornographic, or because it went to Rome in 1911 and they changed it to The Kiss. And he used um, symbols in his artwork. And if you look, the woman is the circle. The man has the rectangles and he used a lot of eyes in his um, portraits. Oh, I love those eyes. I think you see that a lot with Adele. I don't know if it's on this painting. I kind of get so, um, I, 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 it's almost like I'm, I'm floating in a sea of gold when you, when you look at anything of Klimt's and um, the, I never thought that I would get involved with enhancing a canvas, but this calls for it. Um, if you're going to enhance your artwork and you don't know where to start, I will tell you that Anthony of Single and Placing did a beautiful rendition of uh, I think it's lady with a fan, woman with a fan, but it is a clip. And he has these elements that he would always put in, um, not always, but he would put these elements around the the background, the, these textures and animals and people layered one on top of the other, the symbols, the squares, the rectangles, the triangles, the circles, um, drawings, um, sh uh, repetitive shapes, like these archways that he would do too. Um, as the background of the portrait or even over the portrait over at uh, single and placing and he was looking at the portrait and he wanted to enhance it and I don't blame him one bit but he has a beautiful eye for knowing where to put you know if I'm going to take this out what am I putting in there but he had a wonderful tip he said look at your canvas and what sticks out to you and for me, it's always been these vines along her foot. I know that there's a lot going on, <laughs> but I always was, look at these beautiful, you can't see, but this is, you'll see it in the picture in the, in the uh, oil painting. It is an oil, but I didn't tell you that. 
there's these beautiful vines that are on her feet and they have triangles and they're gold and that is the letter a and if you look there's a lot of A's in this painting. And I'm like, that's it. Not only is it gold, but it's throughout, it's sprinkled throughout the painting. And I thought that is the color that I'm going to choose to enhance this portrait with. I am going to go to DP Sparklers, as Anthony suggested. I'm going to look the DMC uh, color up for this. Let's see what it is. Let me see what is A. is 743. And you can see it's like a yellowish gold. So that's the, that's what I am going to switch that one out for. Another thing about this painting from Diamond Painting Shop, I went to put my washi tape down uh, around my border and I pulled back the canvas there really is not a glue line. And I figured, well, there's nothing for me to cover there. I'm not gonna do it. And I think that that might be because yesterday I was a little confused reading this um, statement in the back of the box. But they said here um, that, you don't need to see all that and blind you with that. Um, it says here, the world leading cutting technology. And it also says, oh, here it is. Germany imported new digital adhesion spray tech. And so I'm thinking, could it be with this uh, new digital adhesion that um, it's cleaner and like more to the portrait that we don't have that glue edge? So I don't have it. I don't have it. There's nothing for me to put washi tape down on there for. So I'm not going to bother. Um, what else did I well, want to I will tell you this. Not only was this painting scandalous for the times, but, you know, you always want to know, like, what was the vision when you sat at your canvas to paint this portrait of a man and a woman in a very loving, pa to me it's passionate, embrace. And um, it was speculated that it was a self-portrait of Gustav and his long uh, time partner, Emily. Emily was a very independent woman. She was a dress designer in Vienna. She had a very successful shop with her sisters and she, she was at every outing with him. And never know. came out and said, yes, this is me and Emily in this picture. Um, but looking at it, and looking at the pictures of him and Emily and their relationship and pictures that were taken of them. And you can see that she's very successful. And she's she is like, even the way that she adorns herself in her shop with her fashion, she's like the woman in gold. I could see him being so attracted to her. She's very ornate in her dressing. I remember one picture, and I'm going to see if I can find it, where she has this huge purse. He could have stuck a baby in there. That's how big it was. But everything about her was big. Like, the hats were big, and the handbag was big, and very, but tastefully done. She was tastefully done, and it was just so... So beautiful. And I could see where there was some speculation that this was the house that they shared because they had a meadow and they had water and even the background. Let's see if I could find that. Let me see here. Oh, actually, you know what was interesting? It was an app and the app is on my phone. <laughs> so I'll have to look that up. But they did kind of um, break down, you know, the kind of symbolic meaning of the rectangle being that he was a man I'll let you use your imagination and the circles for the woman and um, this beautiful meadow that was the house that they shared so I think I think if I had to put money on it I'd say that it's him that it is him and it, and he was so in love with her why wouldn't he he's a famous painter and 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 why wouldn't he you, know, you could tell that he's he not only in, adorned this picture in gold and silver and he's a, a flowers and parts of where their their estate was 
um, and he's of course adorning her in kisses. Um, why wouldn't it be him if he was gonna? If he was for all the hoopla about this picture, it sold before it was even done. I'm surprised he let it go. <laughs> because if it is him and Emily, you know, I don't think that I would. I, I don't think that I would want to let that go. But yes, it did. It did sell, and it sold before it was. It was done, and you know, that's my my little installment on um, Gustav and my little opening here. Where I'm going to start this painting at the top. And I'm going to section it off in 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter squares. And I am going to do that next. <laughs> Think about it. And um, stitch it together to this. But, you know, there's just a lot going through my head. So many notes, so many notes on Gustav. So many. I mean, you know, um, he did a lot of work with his brother. And I, you know, he was influenced by the, uh, the Byzantine era, but also by his dad, who was a, a gold engraver. And there was like gold leafing throughout this portrait. Most of them, um, there, and there's so much like, I think because these are two of his most iconic and recognizable, uh, paintings that when you're speaking of one, the kiss, and you're speaking of woman in gold portrait of Adele that the information comes at you from both ways. And I was trying to separate the information. And like, I just took out the pieces that were true to both of them, but I wanted to keep it separate. So I will drop some of the pictures in so that you can get a little um, bit more familiar with Gustav before we begin, but there's so, there's so much, there's so much more to this painting. I feel like I rambled everything out of my mouth, but there's a lot more. There's, there's a lot more. And, um, I'm so excited to start it. I just can't wait. Um, I think what I'm going to do is go over to DP Star Sparklers. I'm going to pause this. I'm going to look up, up that DMC color. I'm going to match it to the sparkler and I'm going to add that to this video. So I'll be right back. Hello again. I love that it is a beautiful day out today, but I swear to you, everyone that has come, everyone that is outside is just stopping by my window to talk. So, oh, okay. So I'm looking up 723. It's actually, the symbol A is 743. Because I, I just looked at this and I was like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? There's no 723. <laughs> But it's 743. So let me go over to the next page here. And 743 is just yellow medium. That's it. That's the color. Yellow medium. Okay. So I am shopping again because I lost the first video <laughs> on... Um, that I did earlier. So square drills. I think I should have just looked for. Let me just look. Seven four three. Seven four three. Square. Go. I don't want pixie dust. Hmm. Pearls for squares. Here we go. Square AB, 743, yellow, medium. That is what I want, and that is what I'm going to be ordering. Let's see. Iridescent coating on top of a normal opaque resin. Okay, that's what I want. I don't want Pixie. I want this one. Oh, they're pretty. Very pretty. I think I'm going to be happy with that. They're in stock. They're three bucks per... Approximately 2,500 drills. I'm going to get three. Because I don't know what's going on with Adele. 
but why don't we get through? Hello, I am on DP Sparklers because I am looking to enhance the sparkle on Adele. Now, she does come with four special drills and 1AB, which is letter S, and I really can't find it on here, uh, letter S. Um, you know, um, let me see, Gustav did a lot of enhancing with silver and gold. So the S is on her necklace and on her bracelet. However, there is a lot on her dress. Um, and I guess this would be flowers and a bouquet that I would like to just switch out. And that is what I'm going to do because I need to put more in my cart. I just can't order um, I'm, I'm under ten dollars for TP sparklers, but that's okay. I figured I'm gonna go a little nuts on this on this um, order. So I'm going to get these topaz ultra very dark um, drills that they say have a gold blast to them. Perfect. So I'm gonna get those. Uh, not round, square. Square, square glitter, 780 topaz, ultra, very dark. Let me just check this one more time. 780, and it is dark. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to, that's what I'm going to get. I'm going to enhance this portrait, and I'll, and I'll give you a peek when I get back to regular filming here. And then I have my coupon. And they are in stock. Alrighty. Okay. All right. I will see you back at the portrait. One second. Okay. So my sparklers are ordered. Um, diamond painting with sparklers. And I had in my draw uh, a coupon for leather 10. I went to uh, DP with sparklers. And there's a lot per bag. 2500 drills uh, per bag but and they were like three dollars a bag and I was like great put two in the cart and you had to have a ten dollar minimum so I was like come on Adele you're coming out because I know I'm going to enhance you too so what was jumping out at me with Adele this is very like they it reminds me of fallish colors actually with the oranges and the greens this is like an antique I would imagine like a greenish yellow an antique gold and the browns and what stood out with me with Adele was this symbol right here and there's a lot of this like bracket in this portrait so and it goes all throughout her dress and I thought well that's going to be the the sparkler that I'm going to add onto this because Adele has one, two, three. She has four special drills and one AB, which is in her jewelry. Um, that AB is in here and it's in the choker. So yeah, I didn't want to do something like an orange or an antique gold, um, I kind of like th this color is topaz. So, yeah. It would have been nice too to do like a a silvery. Is that an S? No, that's the check mark. Hmm. Because he did do silver and gold leafing, better known for the gold, but it would have been nice to do like a silver. And then this has all these special gems in here that are like a yellow already. So I didn't want to do a gold there. I chose the topaz. So Adele is getting a little bling bling too. All right, girl. And um, this is my first installment for my master class. A lot more to come. I'm going to get started with um, the kiss. And I will videotape that. And I will have another installment for you probably tomorrow. Don't hold me to it. Like I say all the time, make plans and God laughs. But I cannot wait to break open uh, these drills. They are right now inside my Joey here because I'm holding my camera. Let's put the camera down. This has a lot of 
confetti. So I can't see myself opening and closing these bags, but I want to get started. I want to get my 10 by 10 sections. I will film all that and I want to get started and I can't wait to see you guys. See you soon. See you in the next one. Create that world that you want to live in. Bye. <laughs>